Good morning, everyone. Happy Vlogmas Day 23. On the ninth day of sock, miss. Oh, no, wait, we did not go already. On the tenth day of sock, miss, my calendar gave to me. Oopsies. <gasps> I literally just caught a glimpse and my eyes started watering. Oh my gosh. They just say Hodor, 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 Hodor. If you guys have seen that episode, you know why it's emosh. Very emosh. Oh, I just got goosebumps just staring at the socks. <laughs> so cute. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to wear these because they're so emosh. So guys, we have a lot of stuff to do today. We are about to go do some last minute Christmas shopping at Target, and I mean very last minute. I'm hoping that there will at least be some parking space for us because it is the day before Christmas Eve and we need presents. So we're gonna go do that. I am currently dressed and ready. I'm gonna do some makeup since I have some extra time, but I did my hair already for work, so that way later I'll have to just put on my clothes put on some more makeup and just go. But I have the literal the same exact outfit I wore to Target the other day because it's super comfy. And then Blake hasn't even started getting ready. Tisk, tisk, tisk. But yeah, we need to go get some sho uh, shopping done. I need to edit this the vlog from yesterday. And then I need to make some more bath bombs and sugar scrubs. And then we'll be good to go after that. So yeah, we got a lot to do and I work in like three hours. <laughs> So I'm hoping I'll be off early tonight so I can get some more stuff done, like wrapping and everything. But we at least need to get the stuff for my dad's side of the family done because we're going to do Christmas with them tomorrow on Christmas Eve. And then we're going to be doing Christmas with my mom and with Blake's mom on Christmas Day. So that's the plan, Sam. Thanks for following along with us. Guys, something freaking crazy happened. We have an elf just crashing. And he toilet papered our tree the other day. I forgot to vlog it. And he left us this note. It says, to the kids. I'm gonna read it real quick. <laughs> Dear kids, hi, huh? yeah, right. You don't even believe that. Guess who's staying with you until Christmas? Yeah, yours truly. If you couldn't figure that out, you deserve freaking coal. I'm supposed to be cute and tell you that every night I'm going to report your behavior to Santa. Instead, I'm going to tell you the truth. This is a crock. The elf committee found out I made one mistake years ago by skipping out on one lousy kid to go on an early vacation, and they pulled me out of retirement and sent me here as punishment. Just to rub my nose in it, they sent me to a bunch of old kids. Jeez, yeah, right. What a freaking crock. If you were any older, you'd be in diapers again. So this is how it's gonna go down. I plan to enjoy my stay. I plan to enjoy my stay. Where was I? I dropped the paper. Okay, in this hot city of yours. The North Pole is so cold, the lawyers have their hands in their own pockets. So don't mess with me. And I won't go tell that fat B word. I'm not gonna call Santa that. What a bunch of jerks you are. By the way, I get one dog hair on my new suit and I'm flying them all to that Chinese restaurant a few blocks from here. Capiche? All right. Merry freaking Christmas. Apparently his name is December Kringlemeister. There he is. <laughs> the bully himself. We're in a line just to get into the parking lot. Oh boy. So guys, we did it. We accomplished Target. Am I allowed to say how much we spent? We spent $400, that was crazy. <laughs> but anyway, so I have a funny story to tell you guys. So Blake and I kind of went like our separate ways, but we met up at the end to pay because like I wanted to get some stuff for him, he wanted to get some stuff for me. And so like we were at the register, Blake's not feeling well. Um, these people came up behind us, obviously like there's super long lines because it's Target and it's two days before Christmas. And so Blake went to, um, he went to go call out of work because he's just not feeling well at all. And so as when he left, um, 
there was like my stuff that I had bought for Blake still in the cart and the guy behind me like made like this huge noise like <sighs> when Blake left because he was annoyed that I still had more stuff in the cart for some reason like I don't know why he was so pissy when it's two days before Christmas anyway so when Blake left like the cashier lady like she started scanning our stuff scanning our stuff and obviously I wanted to talk to her because this poor girl is like having to deal with these people and probably has had a really long day so I wanted to be like a friendly face to her um, amongst the rude people so I'm talking to her like just having a conversation like I was like oh how long are you working today she's like oh today's not that bad actually but I have to open tomorrow and like yesterday I worked like 10 hours and she's like it just kind of sucks because people are like really really mad and like rude towards me because of the lines but like what do you expect like it's really close to Christmas like at the lines we can't really do anything about them and mind you like as we're talking she's still scanning my stuff it's not like she just like yeah you're good it's not like she just like dropped all my stuff and was just like having a conversation with me you know she was still scanning my stuff still going really quickly and so the guy behind me is just like rolling his eyes and like shaking his head and getting super mad at us talking and so then like so then finally I like I look at her and I'm like I say it really loud I'm like yeah when it's two days before Christmas you kind of have to expect the lines to be pretty long and he started laughing like he laughed like he did that like obnoxious laugh where like you could tell he was just really annoyed he was like <laughs> like that and then he picks up his stuff off the um off the little belt thing that holds all your stuff and he walks to another register <laughs> I was just like what is your deal like if you choose to come to Target two days before Christmas you you're gonna have to expect it's gonna be busy busy especially when you like first get to the parking lot and you see it's packed like what are you expecting like all these people to just be sitting in their cars like I just don't understand Oh, and then too, like when we were talking, she like turned to him cause she could see he was getting annoyed too. And she was like, hey sir, just so you know, there's a little, um, you know, a divider if you want to start putting your stuff down on the belt. And he just was like rolling his eyes. <laughs> I don't know what his deal was, but anyway, I'm going to go home. I might, if you're okay with it, leave you to the task of editing my vlog for me today. I'm gonna try to get it done, but I also need to make some sugar scrubs, but I might do that when I get home from work later. And we have a lot of presents to wrap. Um, but yeah, that's that's how today's going so far. And we got the ingredients to make a delicious quiche. And yeah, successful day so far, but I only have like an hour till I have to leave for work. And two things at once, editing the vlog and filling Nala's stocking. But I think I went a little overboard. I don't know how I'm gonna fit this on here, but we're gonna make it work. Look how cute! It fit perfectly. Well, hi. You're not gonna say hello to me? Oh my goodness. Are you not excited to see me? I just got off of work. Nala, tomorrow is a day called Christmas Eve. And a man named Santa Claus comes. And he has a big red coat. He brings treats oh she didn't care that i said the word treats she's starting to fall asleep oh good night little princess <laughs> guys oh shoot <laughs> luckily this one is not fragile <laughs> guys we did it we conquered christmas all of our presents are wrapped there's more under the tree and i'm so happy I literally got home from work and I literally took a shower. That was my only break. I went straight into making sugar scrubs, straight into wrapping presents. I'm so tired, but I'm so happy I got it done. I feel like a huge weight off my chest. It's hard to believe that it's real. And the last thing we have to do is I'm just gonna send a package to my sister for Christmas as well, but that's gonna be towards the end of the week when we get back from our trip to Stewart, Florida. And yeah. What a weight lifted off of my shoulders. So happy. So guys, it's almost two o'clock in the morning, but Blake and I decided to open our presents to each other right now because we know that tomorrow we're gonna be super busy and then on Christmas day, we're gonna be super busy. So I figured right now was like a good chill time to open presents before like we have a ton of stuff on our plate like tomorrow and Christmas day. And Blake agreed. 
So we're gonna open our presents. Little pies are crust and her little feeties too. Big rest before her first Christmas. We're also watching the Grinch while we opened our presents. Look at all this amazing stuff my husband got for me. He's the bomb. Would have got more, but you know. I don't need anything more. I'm so happy. Today's vitamins say, you don't have to cook fancy or complicated masterpieces, just good food from good ingredients. Julia Child. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful day. I love you. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.